Hello, this is Charles from Cedalino Photography, and today I have a Photoshop Elements tip for you, and that is perspective control in Photoshop Elements. Now, if you've taken a picture of a building or a sign, and the top looks less wide than the bottom, and there seems to be some sort of a perspective issue, we can fix that in Photoshop Elements. Let's go ahead and take a look. Recently, I was taking a road trip near Bloomfield, Kentucky, and I saw this big spring cemetery and decided that I wanted to get a few pictures. When I stopped at the sign and thought that I was going to get this great image, I noticed that there was a little bit of an issue with perspective because I couldn't get up high enough. I didn't notice it at the time, but when I got back, I saw that there was a perspective issue. And I want to fix that, and I can do that in Photoshop Elements. Now normally, if the right hand side and the left hand side have equal amounts of distortion, it's easy to fix because you could use the perspective tool to bring both sides in an equal amount. But in this case, there's just a little bit of distortion on the right and a little bit more distortion on the left. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can fix that in Photoshop Elements. Let's get started by opening the image in the Photoshop Elements Organizer. We're going to start by going to import, and I'm going to import this from my file because I've already downloaded it to my computer. I'm going to right click on this image, and then I'm going to go to edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. Once you're in the Photoshop Elements Editor, I want you to go to the Crop Tool. You can hit C on the keyboard, and it will take you to the Crop Tool. Now you notice there's some different types of crops down here. One is a cookie cutter, and I'll cover that in a future video. But this one right here is the perspective crop tool. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to draw an initial box around the image that I want to correct. So I'm going to draw a box around my image. But what I want to do is because I didn't do a really great job making sure that this was center, I'm going to crop a little piece of that right hand side off and give it just a little bit of airspace in between the upright pole and the edge by doing that. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to grab this corner handle right there. And we're going to bring that in until the lines match the up and down nature of this particular pole. We want to have these two lines parallel, the line of the pole and the actual dotted line right here. And we're going to do the same with the left hand side. We're going to drag this in until the dotted lines are parallel with our pole. And as you can see, the dotted lines are now parallel to the pole. Now all we have to do is click the green tick box right there. Now Photoshop Elements has done the heavy lifting by correcting our perspective. And it's as simple as that. I'm going to go and edit another photo so you can see how this perspective correction works on a building. I'm going to right click the image and go to edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. Because this image was shot as a RAW file, it opened it in the RAW editor. For the purposes of this video, I'm not going to do any corrections to the color, and I'm just going to select Open. That's going to open it in the Adobe Photoshop Elements editor. You'll notice that the building looks as if it is leaning backwards, so we're going to fix that. Once again, let's go to the Perspective Crop tool right here. It should still be selected. If you don't see it for some reason and it's on this tool, select this tool. It's going to be in the top left hand corner of the modify or you can hit the C on your keyboard and then switch it to the perspective crop. For this particular one, we're going to add a perspective crop. We're going to add the box to the entire image. Once we're finished with that, we are going to line up these dotted lines with the edge of the building. On the left hand side, we're going to do the same thing. Once the dotted lines and the lines in the picture are parallel, we're going to take the green checkbox. And once again, Photoshop Elements has done the heavy lifting and has corrected our perspective problem. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and a like. Otherwise, stay tuned for more Photoshop and photography videos. Cheers!